semesta Memberi kehidupan Layak ditinggikan Faktanya tak terkoyakan Dia tak tersandingkan Hanya dia yang sempurna Masuk setelah perbuatannya Jika dari sisiku Siapa lawan ku Tidak pernah ku ragu Serahkan hidupku kepadanya Raja semesta Walau balai berkata Ku kan terbentingi bersama Semesta Memberi kehidupan Layak ditinggikan Tak tanya tak terkoyakan Dia tak tersandikan Hanya dia yang sempurna Masyuk Perbuatannya Jika dia Siapa lawanku Tidak pernah ku ragu Serangkan hidupku Kepadanya Raja semesta Walau barai mengada Ku kan cepat tinggi Bersama dia Raja semesta Masyur segala, masyur segala perbuatannya Jika dia di sisiku, siapa lawanku Jangan pernah ku ragu, serahkan hidupku kepadanya Raja Ku tahu diriku menjadi ciptaan baru Karena kasihmu ku akan selalu berserah Hey, hey Yesus lah Tuhan Hey, hey Yesus lah Tuhan One, two, three, go Ku percaya kalau Tuhan 
Percaya kalau Tuhan mengubah hidup menjadi indah. Besar kasih setia, besar kasih setia yang telah kau tunjukkan. Besar kasih setia yang telah kau nyatakan. Kutahu. God, we give thanks and we are grateful because you are good in our lives. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
jawaban hidupku Saat ada tujuan kau datang tunjukkan ku jalan Tunjukkan ku jalan Terima kasih buat cintamu Tanpa batas 
Let us lift up our hearts to worship Him. Jadikan ku berharga, terima kasih buat cintamu yang tanpa batas. Kau berikan hidupku, jadikan aku indah. Terima We give thanks because today we can honor your sacrifice at the cross and your love is so fast, it's beyond our understanding and your love is everlasting in our lives. We thank you for your love, your unlimited love and we thank you that we can worship you today in Jesus' name, Amen. Shalom, everyone. It's good to greet you wherever you are right now. I believe that Emmanuel is with us. Jesus is with us. And He is omnipresent wherever you are right now. Whether you are at home, you are uh, in your boarding room, God is with you. God is close to us. And God will reveal Himself to each and every one of us. And let us not let whatever that comes toward us just pass. We want Him to be present in our lives. And this is in the middle of the year already. And it's been almost three years, uh, three months, I'm sorry. It's been three months that this online service has been going on and we keep praying that this shall pass soon and so we can come together and worship him and brothers and sisters if you have not joined connect group our cell group our small groups which is called connect group in our church if you want to join our connect group you can contact this number this hotline number and you can be connected by the connect group closer to you and after the after the sermon after the word of god uh, please prepare because we will have, we will hold holy communion you can prepare for your own uh, bread and uh, wine just uh, a simple bread a simple drink and we can join together with the, in the holy communion and this is time for us to provide our, to give our offering this is part of our worship to god and if you want to give your offering you can transfer your offering to this uh, account on your screen let us pray for our offerings God, we thank you for your kindness, for your loving kindness in our lives. And we know that time passed quickly, but we believe that your faithfulness is everlasting. And we also pray for every church member that follow us through live streaming, wherever they are. And we pray, God, whatever, whether they are businessmen, whether they are workers, employees, we pray that we can go pass through these difficulties together and you will proclaim your power in our lives and your protection and your companionship with us. And we pray we release blessings for every business, every work, every 
company and we shall pass this together and we want to give offering right now we want to give with a joyful heart in Jesus name amen Jangan lewatkan ibadah KMS online tanggal 21 Juni 2020 dengan tema Agrikultur Iman bersama Pastor Philip Mantova. Kabar gembira. Akan diadakan Eagle Kids Online Camp dengan tema Build Up. Khusus anak usia 10 sampai 14 tahun. Pendaftaran paling lambat tanggal 17 Juni dan hanya bisa dilakukan melalui aplikasi GMS Church. Untuk informasi Hubungi 0821-6231-6000. Segera daftarkan putra-putri Anda karena kuota sangat terbatas. Kami menyediakan hotline layanan FLC, Connect Group, dan GMS Surabaya Barat selama masa bekerja dari rumah. Jika Anda membutuhkan layanan jemaat, silahkan hubungi nomor yang sudah tersedia. Untuk persembahan dapat dilakukan dengan scan QR Code di HP Anda melalui aplikasi BCA Mobile, Sakuku, OVO, Dana, GoPay, ShopeePay, dan Link Aja, atau transfer melalui rekening BCA atas nama GRJ Mawar Sharon. Bukanlah 
You are always present in our lives in every season. Your everlasting love is there with us. And we thank you, Lord. Please bless us. Please bless your people, especially for us who are losing hope. Because you will not let the legs of the righteous be shaken always. And you promise us you are always with us and you will bring us from glory to glory and from victory to victory in jesus name amen hallelujah shalom church you can take up you can pick up your bible as we want to study together the word of god and the last time i preached about i preached about the blessing after a crisis this is we go to the second part of that sermon and we want to open the book of Job verse 42 I believe that there is blessing after a life crisis we cannot uh, follow God by our own way we cannot put our will in front of God's will but God will never just take and take away he always give and take he always give and take because God wants us to be balanced and as we studied Job suffered and even though God had to correct correct him here and there but at the end God provide reward to him even though even though we are not worthy not one of us is worthy because God does not owe anyone but he provide reward because he loves us as a father and as he restored Job before God restored Job there was one episode in his life when he was forced to believe without seeing because we believe the things that we do not see we have to be patient we have to be patient we can enter god's promise of res restoration and we can go through this valley of darkness and we can come out more than conquerors but we have to go through uh, we have to be patient as as we can learn from abraham he could receive the promise by his faith and patience sometimes being faithful is not instantly therefore there is a saying that we can we always wait on god 
and he will never disappoint those who wait on him. Our part is to wait on him. Our part is to wait on him. There is no shortcut. So, we have to learn to be patient. Now, you can tell one another to be patient. As we read verse 7, uh, Job 42, verse 7, after the Lord had said these things to Job, he said to Elphaz the Temanite, I am angry with you and your two friends because you have not spoken the truth about me as my servant Job has. Before this, I explained how Job was visited by his three friends and one of them was Eliphaz, he was uh, probably the senior among the three, but they, they were they were righteous people because they could hear the word of God. They were they were the Lamb of God actually. They, but they could not they could not represent God to Job when he was suffering when he was in his tribulation. These three friends did not comfort Job, but instead they accused Job. And therefore, God was kind of angry to them. He said that, you have not spoken the truth about me. Now I want to summarize the the story about Job, which I had been talking about during this uh, time of Corona. And these three pressed Job to, to confess his sin. That is a naive view of the life, of our lives, because as we do not understand God, we do not give them a good advice to people who are suffering. Now these friends, they provide an innocent, innocent uh, theory that they said that the reward and punishment, if a righteous person is rewarded, if a sinful person will be punished, that is, that is the theory that they gave Job. And Job also, he debated, he, he, he defended himself because he thinks that he, he, he is innocent and he does not sin. That is what God uh, rebuked Job about. Therefore, God rebuked Job first because he thinks because he is feeling self-righteous. But on this first, Job rebuked the three friends. And then at this first, when God rebuked these three friends, God actually uh, or, uh, respected Job. Because God here said that Job is righteous, actually. Now, is if I if I give an illustration, if my son is fighting, maybe he was bullied by his friends, but then they they went in, they, they got into a fight, and then and then they had to report to the principal room principal office and if if he comes home and he he feels self self righteous and he claim his innocence to me now i have to correct my own son this is what god did to job he was saying that you are not wrong, but your attitude is not right. That is what God rebuked Job about at that time. But then when the son 
come out and face the bullies as my son go out and face the bully then I as ma his father will defend him these friends just provide theory just they were just talking he they did not experience the trials that uh, Job experienced and, and God was angry to these three friends we should not we should not get into other people's business we should not be jealous of of someone's success or we should not also uh, be jealous of others because we have our own dealing with the lord we have to take care of ourselves we have to deal with ourselves in front of the lord ask him if we are worthy if we are uh, we can have his favor and ask for his guidance so, so that we can stay on the on his path we should not comment uh, cheaply and we should not judge others especially during these difficult times because why because if we are not careful we could blame god in this kind of situation we could we could actually defend somebody who lost a favor with god because if we judge somebody we have to deal with god actually and, and we could also defend something that is wrong in god's eyes therefore if let us have wisdom to deal with our own self we should not look at others because we need to meditate on the word of god so that we wherever we go there will be his blessings with us these three friends they accuse someone who, who is loved by God and therefore in this verse God rebuked them because they blame Job even though Job is blameless therefore they in turn blame God the same God that correct us it's the same God, it's the same Father that will defend us as well. Just We just need to gain His favor because, because He will protect us. Never ask punishment for your enemies. Do not ask God to defend you. You just need to gain His favor. You just need to please His, His, His please God so that they, He will defend you. Now, I can see that the relationship between Job and God in the Old Testament, and this is also a lesson for me that I should not I should not walk in the path of Eliphaz that correct people who are actually righteous. Now again, continue on. So now take seven bulls and seven rams and go to my servant Job and sacrifice a burnt offering for yourselves. My servant Job, Job will pray for you. So he will intercede for you. And I will accept his prayer and not deal with you according to your folly. Now God threatened them because you have not spoken the truth about me as my servant Job has. 
Kesaksian Tuhan itu adalah mahkota orang yang rendah hati. Catat ini. The testimony of God is the crown of, is the crown humble, of humble souls. Orang-orang yang merendahkan hati di hadapan Tuhan If dan mengurusi hati Tuhan. You humble yourself Mahkota and you take care of yourself. The crown that you will get is not only Tuhan God's protection, but Jangan it will be His Tuhan testimony as well. God will say that you are his servant, you are his son, you are his daughter, you are my chosen one, you are my prophet. Let God say those things. His testimony is, is the most important one. You should not... The, the, what you think of yourself is not important. What the world thinks about you is not important, because at the end of everything, the thing that the thing that divine uh, the thing that decide whether we uh, that we receive eternal life or eternal damnation, it's only by God's judgment whether He. Whether he well done, my will say that good job, my servant, enter my joy, that is the end. Therefore, we have to strive, we have to. Why do we have to be stressful with the, opini the opinions of people? It doesn't matter. What matters most is the opinion of God about us. Now God told these friends to sacrifice seven bulls and seven rams and so that Job can sacrifice a burnt offering. Because in the Old Testament, there is uh, a burnt offering is, is, is required. And therefore, God says that, let Job pray for you, because your own prayer I will not hear. Oh, wow. Because God threatened them that whatever that Job experienced at that time, it could happen to these three friends as well, because, because God knows that Job is faithful, and Job, and Job is righteous in God's eyes. Now, God asked these three friends to sacrifice burnt offering and ask uh, Job's prayer because, because God asked them to ask Job to pray for them. Even if they... Even if they went to Abraham to ask for prayer or to Moses to ask for Moses' prayer, God will not listen to that prayer. God wants them to come to Job because, because they wronged Job. Therefore, you need to be careful that you need to... You need to take care, you need to finish your problem before the sun set. And one day in the future, we will reign together with Christ. In the future, the separation between goats and lambs, there will be a, a, a righteous person between these two. And you need to take care of your hearts before it will be decided whether you will go to hell or we go to we you will go to heaven at the end the righteous will stand and judge them those who are righteous they will decide those people who wrong them they will decide whether they go to heaven or go to hell I can imagine that the, that the, the, the word of God in Revelation will be 
come to reality and everyone will be able to, uh, to love God. And especially for those who wrong us, if we can forgive them and if they are, can ask for forgiveness and they, and they will... Oh, I'm sorry. If we we are righteous, but then people are wrong us. But if we keep quiet, if we do not ask for punishment, if we do not ask for revenge, but at the end we will be separated from those and we will enter heaven and therefore also in the book of Daniel there, there is a prophecy as well therefore in this life do not owe anyone do not owe anyone with your word or with your uh, with, uh, because that will be bring to our end, to our, to eternally. If a lot of people are, if a lot of people misunderstand you, or if they wrong you, you need to forgive them because you will not owe them anything. If we, if our hearts clings to God, clings to Jesus Christ justice will be done for you because, because then God says revenge is mine therefore you should not hit anyone you should not keep uh, other people's mistake to you because you will be at loss if you do that. Live, live justice to God because God says justice is His. Give surrender to God. Do not claim it back. Because whatever that is in His hand, you can live freely. If we can upload our problems to God, you are free. Today and forevermore, you will live with a free spirit and with a freedom, and you're, you, you live uh, uh, very easily. You, you live freely. Kalau orang itu berdosanya bersama-sama nggak sendiri-sendiri seperti Elifas, Bildad, Idan, Idan. Now this is the first eight. Uh, first, first eight. If bertobatnya sama-sama, kita lihat ayat sembilan. Maka pergilah Elifas. If they sin together, they have to us. They have repent together. And the first nine, so Eliphaz, the Temanite, Bildad, the Shuhite, and so far the Naamatite did what the Lord told them. So these three slandered Job, and if they, they sin against the Lord. If you sin alone, then you may repent alone. If you sin together, you have to repent together. If you sin alone, you can repent alone. Do not ask for someone to pray for you if you are, if you sin. You have to come to God by yourself. We can, well, we can ask others to pray for us, but you have to come to the Lord yourself. But if you sin together, you have to repent together. Maybe if there is a, a leader of a country, if they sin, if they sin, uh, like, uh, maybe like the Nineveh, Nineveh, they, can, they have to repent together. Also, the, like the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, they sin together. Therefore, there is a there is a command that if, if my people humble themselves, I will listen to their prayer and I will restore their nation. 
There is a corporate repentance. Maybe there's one family, or maybe uh, one one company. Maybe one joint partnerships. Maybe if if you sin together, you have to repent together. Just as these three friends together they repented as one. Ini sebuah sebuah cerita gimana pemulihan ya saya sedang ceritakan This is a story about restoration. Ayub keluar dari How Job dari musibah krisis was restored from his trials to his blessing as well. And also the first ten. After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortune. No, after Job had prayed for his friends, and God gave Job twice as much as he had before. Now, when did Job restore? He was restored after he prayed for his friends. This is God's business for us. As believers, we have to pray for our foes and our friends as well. This is God's business. This is God's business that believers, his sons and daughters, to pray for our foes and en enemies and friends as well. Now we can see that how pleasing it is if we intercede for others rather than if we pray for ourselves. This is a turning point. This is the turning point of Job. Not not when he repented, not when he repented, but when he released forgiveness for his friends. Now the seven times seventy, there is blessings in that. If you, oh, the, the, if you turn the, the other cheek around, that is actually we turn the cheek to God. So that God can, can, can smooth it. Therefore, we turn the other cheek. We need to give. It. It's like we give. Because if we give, then God wants to bless us. Because if we forgive, He gives. Forgive. In the word, there is a gift in forgive. Oh, the wisdom of the Lord is beyond uh, is, is, is beyond our our understanding. Now, if I were Job, I would probably be. Uh, I, I was pretty hurt, you know, because weeks after weeks, his friends accuse him, but at this first he forgave him. Because the word of God says that whoever forgive, he will be forgiven. Whoever not, who cannot forgive, he will not be forgiven as well. Now, today, we should not be selfish in our prayer. We need to pray for our friends. We need to pray for our friends who, who give us pleasant feelings, who, who give us joy. Or even though we pray for our enemies who give us, uh, maybe you, he, who slander us, who ruin our name, who, who hurt us, we need to pray for them as well. We need to pray for them. We need to pray for our foes. You, you know who they are. Whether they are family, they are friends, they are uh, whether 
unfaithful husband or wife or, or son or parents or maybe some strangers uh, outsider that you might not need maybe you maybe maybe this person uh, cut you uh, cut your lane uh, on the street just forgive them pray for them pray for them because those who pray for others is doing God's business. This is not about money. This is this is busy. This is busyness of God. This is the word of God. This is I'm I'm not talking about money. This is the work of God. This is His work. The, the creation finished in six days. But there is one work that he has not finished is to bless, to serve, and to bless. That is, we have to keep doing those things. As we do his will, as we do God's will, he will defend our lives. We should not worry about our future. If we take up his burden, God will take up our burden. Just as, just as we give him our yoke, he will give his burden on, uh, on us because his yoke is... is it's light. I remember this widow who does not have anything else, but uh, the prophet asked for the last meal of from this widow because this is a very this is during a very what is a severe famine at that time. But then God blessed this widow with, uh, with the oil that keep flowing. Therefore, we need to give, we need to surrender our burden to God so that. Oh, I'm sorry. If we have problem, we have. If we have problem, we just we need to take the burden of God so that God can lift up our burdens. Because the, the work of God is to pray for others. Because God says that my yoke, Jesus says that my yoke is light, and I will make sure that it is. Because the yoke is very light and he will take our burden for us. Sometimes we have to surrender our burden to God and God will uh, take care of our burden. But sometimes if we try to, if we take if we take the initiative to take the burden from the Lord, as maybe we are hungry and we give our food actually to other, our neighbor, God will, will be compelled to bless us. There is time that God wait for us to understand and to, 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 to understand his heart, to understand this 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 burden he will wait until the end until the end of the last flower that they will be able to make bread this is not about money again this is not about offering but you need prayer and yet you need other people you need to take the first step if you need prayer you, if you need prayer but if you Pray for others. God will be compelled to, and and He will be moved about your action. He will be moved. You pray for your friends. You pray for your friends, and give you what you haven't prayed for. 
for you. You for pray you. for your friends and Doakan I will musuhmu. give you Aku, Tuhan, whatever that you pray for and even those things that you do not pray for. Tidak pernah, tidak berani kau doakan di hadapanku. Ini adalah hikmat yang dahsyat. This is a wisdom. This is a, a, a great wisdom. This is an exchange straight that go beyond Wall Street, that go beyond any currency of the world. This is a divine trading. You take the burden of Christ. Because he will not give clothes to those who are naked. Because clothing you have, you, your, the clothing is in your hand. If there is a sickness, you have to go visit the sick. Is, if you take that burden, if you take that burden, he will be compelled. He will open doors for us. Therefore, we need to have a balanced life and learn from Job when the turning point, when his turning point is when he prayed for others. Now remember that on this verse 10, he had not been restored. He prayed for his friends, then the Lord restored him. If you are on your last breath, use that last breath to bless others. Now, as we continue, all his brothers and sisters and everyone who had known him before came and ate him and ate with him in his house. They comforted and consoled him over all the trouble the Lord had brought on him, and each one gave him a piece of silver and a gold ring. Now, as I read, as I read the first 11, I, I was I was disappointed with all the relatives, the friends and families of Job. Where had they been when Job was in trouble or when Job was in trials and tribulation? They came after the after the, after the trouble has passed. They were late. They were late. Where were you when I needed you? But as I read again and again, I... Now, I, as I read, as, as I read this over and over again, I can see the positive in in this verse when the when the friends and relatives comfort and console him over all the trouble. Uh, of, uh, of Egypt. Now, if God can rebuke the three friends, God should rebuke these people, right? Now, let us read again all his brothers and sisters and everyone who had known him before. Now, maybe those who had known him before it's probably those who had known him for a long time but become close to him just at this point remember that remember that those who disappointed Job the most are his close friends or his close relationship with, like as his wife or and his three best friends. Remember that God also provide friends and provide families in us that we can because he will not leave us alone. He will provide uh, like a parent relationship with us. Again, 
teman dekat yang baru gantikan Elifas. This is how I read this first that everyone who had known him for long God provide him a new close friends because the three friends that he had before the three press friends that Job had before disappointed him and God provide him and God gave him a new friends a new best friends so to speak God can fill our loneliness, our life with people that we had not uh, know before. Or maybe also this people who knew him before, maybe, maybe they had, uh, they mean misunderstood Job. But then after this, they now understood Job because he because they now see Job being righteous and Job was sinless uh, blameless now remember that this is before Job was restored and before Job became uh, uh, rich again they just they already came and they already came to maybe apologize to Job because they may not misunderstood him before as I see in this uh, in this first they came back and they apologized to Job and this is and, did, and what they do, and what they do, is the starting point of Job's restoration. Because as as we continue on, each one gave him a piece of silver and a gold ring. They took out their jewelry and to give a gift to Job, and they give cash. They give, they give, they gave Job love gifts and maybe soft loan, and therefore Job could become prosper again. Maybe all of them at this time. Maybe they, uh, maybe Job helped them before. They gave him a, a piece of silver and a gold ring. It doesn't say soft loan in the Bible, but I just, I just try to put it in the current term. Maybe you have a long-term friend that become close at this time, or maybe a new friend that you just become acquainted right now that could give you soft loan. But remember, do not put your hope on men. You should not go around and ask for soft loan. You should not ask, you should not ask, you, should not ask, you, know, you should not beg to others do not make yourself uh, being a, a a borrower you need to put your hope only in God and these days God will send you maybe provide you with soft loan uh, kindness or maybe a deep, uh, Restructuring, restructuration of your loan, maybe help one another so that we can grow together. Maybe people will provide you with love gifts. People will, people will, will provide kindness to you. And the first 12, the Lord bless Job. Job. 
Tuhan memberkati Ayub ayat 12 and dalam hidupnya yang selanjutnya. The Lord blessed the later part of Job's life more than the former part. Ia mendapat 14,000 ekor kambing domba. He had 14,000 sheep. Starting from one piece of silver and a gold ring. Job has a good business mind, and also with the blessing of the Lord, he turned he turned the gifts to fourteen thousand sheep. He doubled his 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 wealth. Contain you six thousand camels, a thousand yoke of oxen, and a thousand donkeys. In Job's hand, it's multiplied. During this time, I do not be I do not want to be stingy. During this time, I want to even give more. I will not. I will not let the condition uh, define what I am, because my life is defined by the word of God. And now I can see the turning point of Job. You need to see the key. You need to see the key that people who know him give him a second chance. Now, if you lose your job. If you lose your job, do not be afraid. If you are still, if you keep, if you are still in Christ, if you are in Christ, He will provide you with a second chance. And again, continue on. As he also had seven sons and three daughters. Tapi Ayub sekarang punya dua grup. Ada dua host anak-anak. Now there, here we can see that he had more children. He also had seven sons and three daughters. Remember that he also lost Children before, but God gave him another set of children. It's not to replace the sorrow in his heart, but God gave him the second set of children. To console him, to to reveal to Job that his first set of children who passed away, they were with God right now. There is a oh, as we read in the first chapter, the Job always provide burnt offerings to guard to guard his uh, children from sinning against God. He was very very careful. He he always protect his family. And by sacrificing burnt offering to God, and therefore when when he lost his children, he probably there is something that bother Job's heart whether his children is. Are saved or they are? They are in 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 hell, but it, by giving the same number of children, God is like saying that Job, it is good. Your children. Your children that pass away are with me. 
Setiap tempat mereka di bumi ku gantikan satu dan mereka yang di sorga. For whatever that their place I have replaced. Tentu di hatimu dan hatiku yang one by one. Bisa sembuh. There's some things. Tahu selak seluk beluk tempat paling gelap di hati setiap kita. God knows in our heart the deepest part of our heart and he restores us. Kita sendiri enggak mengerti di mana letaknya. Sometimes we don't even understand the problem that we face or that we feel in our hearts, but in God's presence he will heal us. He will take care of us. Tuhan tahu di mana isi kekosongan yang He knows exactly where the emptiness in our heart and he will fill it with his presence. And the first daughter, he named Jemima, the second Kasaya. Now, you need to remember these names. And the third named Karen Hapok. Now, we continue nowhere in all the land where they found women as beautiful as Job's daughter, and their father granted them an inheritance along with their brothers. After this, Job lived 140 years. Maybe he lived until his 200 years. We are not sure. He saw his children and their children to the fourth generation. So, and so Job, Job died and an old man and full of years. Now, let us go back to the name of daughter. Jemima is... The day, yeah, hari telah tiba. Jemima means the day. Kesia is fragrant. Maybe he smell of his own body and it's it's very foul smelling. And now, after God restore him, he he smells so good. Maybe fresh. And he could again enjoy Kesia, which is fragrance. And Karen is also plenty restored. Hapuk. So the meaning of his daughters means today the fragrance and many has been restored. It means that he is restored even more before. And I pray in Jesus' name, you will come out of this crisis and will be blessed even before in this crisis. Hallelujah. Let us all stand and prepare our hearts to receive this Holy Communion. Jemima, Kesha, Karen, the day of the Lord will arrive for every family and you will see that in God's plan there is fragrance, there is sweet smelling fragrance in for you and many things will be restored in your life, in your business, in your relationship, in your work, in your study, in everything that you do. There will be restoration in the Holy Spirit. Let us put our hearts, our hand over our hearts as we come, as we approach the throne of God with this worship song. I believe that your loving kindness is always with me and I worship and I worship you Lord I believe I believe that your blessing upon me are bountiful Kemurahan selalu mengikutiku. 
wisdom and kindness will always follow me wherever I, I go and I worship you O oh Lord as we sing this in faith I believe your blessings upon me are up and your wisdom and loving kindness are always with me surrender your problems your situation to God I believe that your blessings upon me is plentiful and, wish, and your wisdom and love and kindness is always with me wherever I go. All those believe Kebajikan kemurahan, kebajikan kemurahan selalu mengikutiku. Ku puji, ku sembah kau Tuhan. Kebajikan kemurahan, kebajikan kemurahan selalu mengikutiku. Ku puji, ku sembah kau Tuhan. Ambil roti. Yang anda sudah sediakan Take up your bread rumah, mari kita angkat di hadapan Tuhan. And lift them up. Jikalau badannya sendiri, jikalau Allah Bapa tidak menyayangkan putranya, if he give his only son, pelit, hitung -hitung would he not percayalah saudara yang ku kasih, be merciful? Would he not hold? out anything for us and he is merciful he is grateful and you will be restored and let us eat as we are united with the body of Christ that is broken for us so that our lives can be whole and be, be ready for a great harvest as we eat in Jesus name Ambil cawan yang ada ini. As we pick up the cup, Mari kita datang dengan rendah hati seperti Ayub as we come with a humble heart as, and we ask for his forgiveness kita, for our iniquity, kata -kata, for our recklessness, kami please kami forgive us. For now we understand that you are a God of second chance. Your plan never fails in us. Forgive us. But never leave us. Forgive us. Do not leave us. Teach us, discipline us, but guide us to a green pasture. As we drink this cup, a new covenant in His blood of Jesus, as we are united in His blood that has been poured for us. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. As we lift up our hands. Let us worship Him. Mari kita masuk ke hadirat. 
as we enter His presence even deeper as we come to the mercy throne to ask for the help that we need during this season. We believe that you bless us, Lord. Bring your worries. Bring our fear, our struggles to our God because He is greater than anything. He is more powerful to be able to to be able to solve our problems. He knows each and every one of us. Let us worship Him as we enter His presence. Worship Him, worship Him. Don't be quiet now. Let us all worship Him. Let us all worship Him. Lift up our voices. Receive the blessing. Receive His blessing. Blessing is real. Blessing is real. Blessing is real. His blessing is real. Receive in Jesus' name. There are two families, similar, similar, they are going to sell their houses. Listen to the word of God. One, you should, you will not sell your house, your, whatever your debt is, there will be soft, there will be resolved your debt. God will bless you. I don't know how, I'm just telling you. And the second family, and the second family, you will be able to sell your house. You will be surprised that somebody will buy your house in this kind of situation. And, and you can even have some leftovers for you to start over and start new business. And there will be knocking on the door. Because God will send you a buyer that will buy your house above the market average. Lift up your hands, lift up your hands. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise be your name. Thank you, Jesus. Jemima Kesha Karen. During this season, God will comfort you. Because families will be blessed with a child. Maybe during this time, you are confused. You are maybe you are afraid because you have a positive sign during this difficult time. But God has planned for this child. God provides you with this. Uh, you just. God bless you with this child, a daughter that will bring comfort and joy in your life. And maybe I can suggest that you will name her Karen. And let us worship him. Selalu mengikutiku, ku puji, ku sembah kau Tuhan. Banyak yang pulih, banyak yang pulih. Aku percaya. You will be restored. Banyak pemulihan ya Tuhan. Berkatmu atasku melimpah. Kepacingan, kemurahan, selalu mengikutiku. Mari angkat 
Let us lift up our hands. Let us receive this grace. Let us prophesy His grace and loving kindness will follow me forever Prophesy to yourself Grace and mercy will always follow me I praise and I worship you God Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The blessings is real. And not everyone needs to prophesy. We know that you, we receive your blessing and your grace. And everybody has a, their part of bread. And thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are always with us in our ministry and wherever our member, wherever they are. And Holy Spirit, you are so close to us and them and bless every family let's lift up our hands the blessing from the father the holy spirit and the son receive the blessing with a joyful heart amen god bless you